Hey guys, my name is Excellian. I'm a partnered streamer over at Mixer, and my friends at Elgato Gaming have graciously sent me an Elgato Cam Link to show you just how easy it is to set up with your DSLR camera. Now, when you first open up the Elgato Cam Link box, you may be a little bit underwhelmed, wondering why this is it. Uh, literally, all that's in it is the Elgato Cam Link USB dongle and a USB extension cord. Now, there is the only assembly that you need to worry about is plugging in an HDMI cable through the dongle, and making sure that you have the Elgato Game Capture HD software, which you can download at www.elgato.com slash gaming slash download. So the camera I'm going to be using is the Canon EOS 70D, a very high quality DSLR camera, um, and it has an HDMI output. So make sure that you have a mini HDMI to HDMI cable or adapter, uh, otherwise you won't be able to plug it into the Elgato Cam Link to capture what the cap uh, camera is getting. All right, we've got the camera plugged into the USB dongle into a 3.0 USB 3.0 port, um, and the next thing that we need to do is make sure that everything's configured correctly. So before we start setting up an exploit, there's just a couple things we need to tweak for the Canon EOS 70D to display correctly in your exploit program. So here we are on the Elgato Game Capture HD software, and what I want you to do is navigate up here to your Devices section. Um, and you're going to be able to select from the multiple devices you may have on your computer. Go ahead and select CamLink. It may show that it's already in use if you've already started setting it up in XSplit. And what I want you to do is control click on the settings icon, navigate to advanced, and you want to enable interlaced video. Um, this will allow uh, the CamLink to capture the correct video from the Canon EOS 70D um, and display it on your XSplit. So here we are in XSplit. Hello, we got a little bit of a streamception going on here. All you need to do is click Add Source, Devices, Video, and click Cam Link. Now you're going to see something strange at first. It looks like a really squished video. Um, the default resolution that it sets to if you go to your cam and do video output it's going to do 1920 by 540 so all you need to do is just stretch the height to double and you'll have a 1920 by 1080 uh, resolution um, but that's pretty much all it takes um, after you've gone through and just configured that done a little bit of cropping because the camera does capture the border around the image that's uh, on the live view of the Canon EOS 70D um, after you've cropped that out, done your chroma key, and you'll see a finished product that looks something like this. Boom. And it's easy as that. Um, there, uh, there are a couple things that I recommend you download onto your camera if you want to uh, remove all the overlays. Uh, go download Magic Lantern and have that on your camera. You can look up all the tutorials to how to do that. And that's how I was able to remove all the overlays. And that's also how I'm able to keep my live view going for more than 30 minutes at a time. Otherwise, it'll snap your camera off midstream, and that's just kind of a terrible experience for your viewers. So uh, it's really as easy as that to set up the cam link, and I've, uh, I've loved it. I've enjoyed every mo moment of it, and you can see there's a vast quality difference. You can see the pores in my skin, and it's just extremely clear, um, versus the Logitech C920, which I'm using over there. Uh, there's an immaculate difference and uh, huge shout outs to Elgato Gaming for sending this to me and uh, allowing me to use this and showcase their product. It's been incredible and I uh, hope you guys have a good one.